So Nintendo have announced that their big December release this year is actually a very old one. Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, as well as winning the award for most fantasy buzzwords in a game title ever, is the very first game in the Fire Emblem series, and it's making its way to Switch on the 4th of December. This is the first time the game has been released outside of Japan, bringing an English localization and a handful of other modern features like save states and a rewind function in case you ball something up. But it's only available until March, and that's not the only game Nintendo are yanking from sale then either. So what exactly is happening then that's causing Nintendo to release all of these limited edition games? My name is Phil, thank you very much for joining us, welcome to Nintendo Village, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, do consider subscribing to the channel as we have new videos up every week. Without further ado, let's get into it. So Fire Emblem isn't the first Switch game that Nintendo have said they're pulling from sale in March. Those of us that have been enjoying Super Mario 35 will be unable to do so from then too. And most notably, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection is disappearing from the shop and store shelves alike once April rolls around. The conventional wisdom was that the three games in the All-Stars collection would potentially then be sold individually after that. But this limited time availability of Fire Emblem raises a bit of a question mark on that one. So why are Nintendo doing this? Well, March is the end of their financial year, so maybe they're just worried that they're not going to hit their sales targets for the year. Don't think that one's quite the case. Of course, there are two new next-gen consoles arriving in November, so maybe Nintendo are looking to drum up some extra demand so that their sales figures don't pale in comparison to the two new big boys on the block. But then... There's plenty of analysts who are saying that the Switch is poised to have a great holiday season anyway, so maybe that's not it either. Some people have been getting their conspiracy theory hats on and come to the conclusion that Nintendo have some big reveal planned that these three games need to get out of the way for. Whilst there's certainly plenty of evidence to suggest that there is some sort of Switch Pro on the way, I have to confess I'm struggling to see why Nintendo would need to stop selling a Mario collection and a 30-year-old Famicom game in order to make way for that. At the end of the day, as Mr. Ockham once remarked, the simplest answer is probably the right one. Nintendo are just looking to create some artificial scarcity. Although it may seem new and strange, this is by no means the first time that Nintendo have released games with a limited sales window. The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition, which added a single player mode among some other tweaks and changes, was made available on the DS for a mere five months back in 2012. Ocarina of Time Master Quest was only available for a limited time on the GameCube if you picked up an early copy of Wind Waker. And the four game Zelda Collector's Edition disc could only be picked up for a limited time from Club Nintendo 2. In fact, there's a whole host of games that never saw the light of day outside of Club Nintendo. And then there's the NES and SNES classics, plug and play systems that were notoriously difficult to get a hold of, partly because Nintendo arguably ramped up demand by stating that they'd only be available for a short amount of time. And don't even get me started on that crazy summer in 2015 when we were all losing our minds trying to secure Amiibo pre-orders. Nintendo were just good at this, moreover us Nintendo fans are absolute suckers for it. The only reason I own a Palutena Amiibo is because I was pre-ordering the other two in the wave, panicked that it wasn't going to be available and ordered that one as well. And don't even get me started on the £50 I paid for the Little Mac Amiibo. The point is, Nintendo are just very good at leveraging their fan base, and the idea that something is going to have a limited run generates that FOMO, triggers that collector's gene in us. I mean, we're very lucky here at Nintendo Village in that we sometimes get review codes of games from Nintendo and other publishers, but I still bought the physical edition of 3D All-Stars because you know I want that limited edition bad boy on my shelf. And yes, the fact that this interesting piece of history is launching on Switch for a limited time only certainly makes me more likely to pick it up, despite the fact that my combined playtime for every Fire Emblem ever is about 12 minutes. But who knows, maybe Nintendo will turn around on April 1st, yell April Fools at us all, and announce that all of these games will continue to be available for the foreseeable future anyway. They've already done that with Jump Rope Challenge, after all. So yeah, in conclusion, why are Nintendo doing this? Because they're Nintendo. <laughs> The name means leave luck to heaven, and much like the Almighty, they move in mysterious ways. 
Is it anti-consumer? Maybe a little bit, but it's not like they're only releasing a certain amount of these games. They're not limiting the amount of times this game could be downloaded. It's just, if you want to get it, you've just got a limited window in which you can do so. Could be worse. Still, what do you think? Should Nintendo be trying to generate demand in this way, or is it a little bit sus? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's a couple of other cool videos you might enjoy down here, and you might enjoy the next one too, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. We've got new videos up every week, and don't forget to check out thenintendovillage.com for more Nintendo news, reviews, features, podcasts, and all that cool stuff. Thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you all next time.